What's going on? It's Ben. Uh, we're back in the kitchen today. Uh, I'm cooking up some onion smash burgers for lunch. Uh, also, I've been having some like family medical issues, so sorry for the lack of uploading. Just uh, figured I'd touch base on that somewhat. Um, but yeah, we're back to it. Little vlog today. Should be some more gaming content coming soon. Maybe a food short or two. But I wanted to do like a vlog cooking video for this one. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. I really need to get some better lighting in here. I did have a light on a microwave, but as you can see, uh, it doesn't work. But we got the flash, so. It comes in handy when we're recording video, you know, in the other direction, but not so much for face cam. So first thing we're gonna do is peel our potato, just so we don't dirty our cutting board up with anything else. Uh, it's just a regular russet potato. I went ahead and washed that up. And we're gonna peel that and then dice it into fries. Pretty straightforward for the peeling. I'm just gonna take the skin off. All right, and once your potato's peeled, we're just gonna give that a nice fry chop. All right, so with that, we're gonna go in half, long ways. And then from there, we're gonna cut this guy into planks about a quarter inch thick. Then all of our planks will get a nice cut, just to make them nice and even. And once your fries are all nice and diced up, we're gonna toss those in some ice cold water. We'll give these a nice toss in the ice water and let them sit until we're ready. And that's going to release all the starch in our potatoes. As well as let those crisp up nicely for us. Next is on to the onion. So normally you'd want a mandolin for a burger like this because you want to make paper thin slices of onions. But I don't have one so we're going to do our best to recreate that by hand. So we've got a nice yellow onion here. That's not so bad. So now we're going to pop these guys in the bowl for a little bit as well. Then we'll put those to the side and now it's on to our burger. So before I get these burgers going, uh, at this point we have about everything else ready. So we got our cheese, our onions, our fries ready to go and our water. I'm going to go ahead and get these cast irons preheating. I have two back there. One's just a 2 inch deep uh, 12 inch cast iron and the other is just a 12 inch flat top cast iron. Uh, gonna use that for the burgers and then the 2 inch deep one uh, just to shallow fry these french fries. A little low on oil so we're gonna go half vegetable, half coconut. I don't typically use coconut oil to deep fry. Uh, normally I use it just as like uh, to sear stuff or make like french toast or something with but we're gonna see how it works. For my burner, I'm going to get this one on medium heat. And then we're going to go ahead and get this flat top here up to medium high heat. Since we're doing smash burgers, we want to get a nice sear on those. So for our burgers, I'm keeping it simple and sweet. I'm just going to do salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And I'm going to let the onion, the burger sauce, and cheese do most of the flavoring here. Uh, with my french fries, I'm going to keep it simple as well. But I did think it would be fun to just kind of like kick back and cook with you guys today because most of my cooking stuff is shorts so we got like two-thirds three-quarters of a pound here so maybe like 12 13 ounces just gonna go with about four evenly sized burgers here we're gonna go in with a nice pinch of salt good grip of pepper and a nice dash of garlic powder just to finish that off now to our nice hot pans, we're going to add our vegetable oil and our coconut oil to our deep dish cast iron. And I wasn't kidding myself, it was a little vegetable oil. Going in with coconut oil for the rest of it. Get a nice spoonful of that in there. And I don't frequently use that too much. We're going to go ahead and pop our burgers down in here real quick. So you guys are probably going to have a funny angle for this, but I'm doing my best here. Uh, we're going to go down all four of our patties. Don't worry about the size too much. These will shrink up nicely, as you can tell already. They seem like they're thickening back up. Just give them a nice press. This is what most people will use burger weights for, but as I mentioned, I don't have any at the moment. Now we're going to hit each one of those with a nice handful of our onion. And then we're going to add our coconut oil into our deep dish cast iron here. So as I said, I'm just going to go in with a pretty big spoonful of uh, coconut oil here. I'm going to pop that in let that melt down. So your fries are going to go onto a paper towel. We're going to pat those dry. So we're going to give our burgers a nice look here. I wish I would have got the onions on the roof. 
you just want to put onions to cook into the burger. This is going to pat all that excess moisture off and it's going to prevent our oil from popping too much as well as let the fries crisp up a little more once we pop them in there. So our oil is nice and hot. We're going to go ahead and pop our fries in there. Let's bring our cutting board here over to this counter. Alright, we're just going to spread these out. Our burgers are about finished up here so we're going to go ahead and pull those off and then we get to finish this batch of fries up. Uh, they're looking pretty good, pretty done. Onions are starting to brown up good, looking nice and caramelized. So we're going to pull those off and just pop them onto a plate. Burger one, burger two, and there's three and four. And I'm going to scrape up just some of these excess onions, just the ones that aren't uh, completely botched. And we'll eat those. Pop them on the burgers as well. Oh, extra onion. And like I mentioned, I'm big on cleaning up as I go, so I'm gonna real quick while I have a minute while those fries are going, put my seedlings back. Let me give these fries a little stir real quick and then we'll get on that burger sauce. Oh, I completely forgot about the cheese, guys. This is beet. Um, well, the burgers are still pretty hot, so I'm just gonna pop these guys in half real quick, throw them on our burgers and then throw those back on the pan hopefully melt this actually what am i talking about we don't need to do all that we're gonna hit these with a blowtorch so let's get the torch i'm just gonna melt it too down a little bit looks good the bottom slice is getting pretty melted just from the residual heat of the burgers so we're gonna get our fries another little toss around real quick there. so for a burger sauce we're not doing anything fancy just ketchup mayo and mustard uh, I'm not a big fan of ketchup or mustard, so we're mainly going to be doing just a little ketchup. I wish I had Dijon mustard. Definitely would prefer that. Just a little mustard. And then a good amount of mayo. I'll just give that a nice mix. Maybe a little more ketchup in there. And there you have it. Nice classic burger sauce. I was going to double fry these french fries, but they're starting to brown up really nicely, so I'm just going to let them finish off as is. Uh, we're going to get ready to assemble our burgers, finish up our fries, and eat. So for buns, I'm just using traditional white bread. Just going to toast some of this up and pop our burger sauce on it before we get our burgers assembled. So while we were waiting on our toast to finish up, our fries are actually looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get them onto a paper towel lined bowl. And we're gonna hit those with a nice grip of salt. A little, a little toss. So for the plating, we're going in with a little dollop of our burger sauce. Spread that around. Followed by our delicious onion smash burgers. Doubled up. Follow that with an extra little dollop of our burger sauce. Plated by our top bun. All that's left, hit that with the homemade fries. Nice and crunchy. Just listen to that crunch. Mmm. Alright, so there's nothing left but to chow down and enjoy this burger. This is my first time trying an Oklahoma onion burger, by the way, or something in that same format and style. So, cheers. So the first thing you taste is definitely onion, but it's a very mellow onion flavor, especially since I used a yellow onion instead of like a white. I think white onion would be good as well. It would just be a little heavier. Um, but with that burger sauce, just the sweet, tangy creaminess of it, uh, and then with the cheese and the nice garlic, salty burger, uh, just all blends together really well. And the caramelized onions are one of my favorite thing on a burger. I could throw some tomatoes and maybe some lettuce on there as well, just to add a little bit of freshness to it. But yeah, you add this burger with a combo of these fries, and you can't go wrong. However, I'm going to get this video edited up and um, go ahead and chow down and enjoy my food. So thank you all for watching. I'm currently fighting a battle with my phone storage. I'm on an iPhone 7, so I have to get the video I recorded, edited, uploaded, and deleted so that I can record the next video. It's kind of a hassle, but you got to do what you got to do. Anyways, thank you all for watching very much. If you enjoyed this kind of, you know, IRL cooking content instead of the short form, let me know down in the comments. I can really do anything uh, as long as it's within reason and ingredients that I can get within my region. I can always order stuff offline, but that's just more of a pain. You never know if they're going to be fresh, but 
Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and it's been Zen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.